this video, we're going to focus on the off season and injury prevention and or recovery. There's a lot of you out there, especially I've got some athletes looking to do some races this year. They've come off of shoulder surgeries. They've come off of broken bones, uh, just other odds and ends injuries. And the off season is the time to kind of address those issues, find what's going on, address them, get them fixed if you can. And get ready for the next season, the training and everything that comes with it, the stress, not just your body, but emotionally, everything, you know, wear yourself down. Now you got the off season on you and you got a little bit of downtime to work with and holidays are coming up and opportunities to relax a little bit. So now's the time to really dig into it, to find out what you need to be doing to get yourself ready. Because as we all keep doing the sport and we do it long term, we want to keep doing it long term. In order to do that, we need to address things that come up not put them off, not a put off going to the doctor, surgeries or anything like that. So that's what we're going to be talking about for this one is injury prevention and recovery. So let's listen up, especially if you've got races, you know, Ironman Florida people talking to you, Ironman Chattanooga people talking to you. Right now it's November at the time of this recording. So you've got a full year to really address anything that popped up, came up, or that you're really concerned about, or just things you've been putting off. Uh, personally, my toes are just nasty and ugly and went to the podiatrist to kind of see what's going on, what I can do about them, kind of some ideas I can work with to get those taken care of. Don't really cause me personal problems or pain or injury, but something I've been putting off forever. Been putting off my yearly physical with the primary care physician because I need to find a new one. So things you've just been putting off for your health, and I'm just talking about health in general, and I'm not... A doctor, I'm not a physician or anything like that, but I'm giving you recommendations on my experiences, myself and my athletes, kind of what can get you over the hump, to get you ready for the next season, to stop putting stuff off, to stop training through pain, and just like, oh, it's just something I got to deal with. No, it's not. There could be something underlying that if you do the right thing, you can get rid of and take care of. So we're going to jump through some points on this one. If you got any questions or anything, if you're live, feel free to put them on there in the chat and I'll address them. So first and foremost, listen to your doctor. So if you have gone to a doctor and they've said you've got something going on, don't just ignore them or turn on the blinders and keep doing what you're doing, especially in off season. Maybe you kind of did it to get to a race, finish the race, or maybe you didn't finish the race because of the problem. Now's the time to actually listen to your doctor. If they were right, if you weren't right, maybe find a second opinion and listen to them. So first and foremost, listen to your doctor, what they have to say. If you're going to spend your time talking to them, take in what they're saying, and put it to good use. What I always like to tell people is find the cause. Don't just treat the symptoms. So plantar fasciitis, there's a cause for it. The fasciitis and the pain is a symptom of it. So if you're doing ice and stretching and whatever and local, you're kind of addressing the symptoms. You couldn't have stuff going on in your body, symmetric issues, shoe issues, something like that that could be the cause. You treat the issue or you treat the symptoms, you're not addressing the cause, you feel better and you go back to training, you feel bad. You feel better, bad, better. It's just a bad cycle to get into. So make sure you're with a doctor or you've got a team of a doc, sports doctor, your primary care, whoever you're going to for MRIs or anything that you're getting done. Make sure you've got a good team that is on board with what you want to do, finding the cause and why things are going bad, and they have the intelligence to find it. Uh, especially in Kansas City, we've got the Chiefs, we've got the Royals. I highly recommend to any athletes locally to me that they go and find physicians that work with these teams because they are working with professional athletes that they make a living off of going out there and killing their bodies. So the doctor's charge is to keep them going as long as possible to address issues that's going on so that they can have a long, fruitful career making lots of money going out there and knocking people's heads off or catching baseballs or hitting home runs, whatever they're doing. But find a team, especially if you've got a professional athletic team, hockey, whatever, baseball, whatever you got, basketball, try to find some physicians or facilities that serve those people and get in there and try to see them because they are more like-minded when it comes to athletes. And we want to keep doing what we're doing over long periods of time. So they're interested in finding out what the cause is and being creative in solutions or if it's a straightforward solution getting you back mended up 
and going on with your athletic career. I'm telling people now, <clears throat> this is the off season, especially Ironman Florida. Talking to you guys, that's 2020. Ironman Tattanooga, 2020. You got a year. If you need surgery, do it now. Don't wait. Don't, uh, maybe another year or two. Do it now. Get the recovery over with. Use the off season what you can. We'll talk about maybe ways to work around it. You know, if you got a rotator cuff, it's a problem. If you got a collar broke, you broke it, but it kind of mended, didn't do it right. Now's the time to get that surgery done and, and just take in the recovery now, especially off season. It's cold outside. You're not going to be doing much, especially here in the Midwest, up north. Now's the time to get that stuff done and over with and out of the way, especially you know, at the end of the year, flexible spending accounts, everything. You got a little bit of money left to pay for the copay. Get it done. Do it. Take care of it. If you need it, get it done. Make sure it's the right surgery. Just make sure that you get the, the right doctor, the right team, get your second opinion and stuff especially if it's going to be an invasive surgery. Just make sure it's the right surgery and then get it done. Take your time, do it right. So if you get a surgery or if you've got an injury and you need rehab, you need physical therapy, make sure that you're going to take your time. You're not just rushing through it to get back to your training. Don't get the fear of missing out FOMO going on. You're not getting your workouts in. You're not training up for your race. You're not going to be prepared. Don't worry about that. There are ways to work around it. You Transform your goals for the race. There's things you can do, but take your time and do it right. Because if you ramp up too fast, you hurt yourself again, you need another surgery or something else, it's just going to be a bad cycle again. And you just need to take care of it the first time. Do it right. Give yourself a plan. If you have to defer a race, do it. If you have to do a race later in the year to give yourself enough time to get the recovery done, build up your fitness, and then train for the race, do that. Do it smart. Plan your race according to what you need to get done to make yourself right before you do the training. Do what you can when you can. So if you've got maybe a rotator cuff is a common problem, you get surgery done for that. Maybe you could still do biking on a, on a trainer. You could do very light running, maybe on a treadmill or something. Work with your doctor, work with your physical therapist. <clears throat> when you got two sports, maybe you could do others. You know, maybe you've got some ankle issue. But you could still swim. You could put a buoy on to where you're not having to, to swim and kick your feet. So maybe you could still do swimming if you if you got an ankle injury and you need to let the heal or something like that. You're doing physical therapy for. So luckily for us triathletes, we've got three sports to choose from. And if you got one you can't do, maybe the other two you can. But always coordinate with your physician and your physical therapist and your team to make sure that you're not doing too much or doing the wrong things. Maybe you could do kind of a strength training routine, but you need to cut out some of the, the strength training sessions in there so you don't injure yourself again, because that's the whole thing. You put all this effort into it, you find the cause, you fix the cause, and then you blow it by doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, and then you just set back, and it's just a constant setback, and there's only so many times a human being can kind of take that kind of stuff before it's just kind of like, forget it, I'm done. Don't want you to be done. We want you to make sure that you're in the right space and a healthy space. Physical therapy is not blow off work. So if they give you homework to take home, little sheets, usually they'll give you one. I've been through it several times and I'm guilty as charged, guilty as the next person. Taking that sheet home and you kind of do it and kind of don't do it. It's kind of like flossing your teeth. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. Do it, do the homework. Fix those stabilizer muscles, fix the other issues going on that they have identified. You've taken your time, you've paid the money, gone to see them, take their advice, do the physical therapy. Don't just blow it off. Discovery, preventative techniques to avoid future issues. So <clears throat> now's the time to go back and do any kind of evaluation, kind of your past performances and, and looking at stuff. Maybe maybe you came out and now you're feeling better, just need a little bit of rest of recovery. You know, maybe you had a tight IT band, but it just after that race it kind of loosened up and you're feeling better now. And you're not really into the heavy stuff yet, but you want to start your off-season program, make sure that you've got stuff taken care of on the backside that, you know, maybe you didn't have an injury to recover from, but you want to do prevention. Maybe you learned a few lessons last time, like, oh, that planner trash has kind of flared up towards, you know, the, the higher volume weeks for running. Maybe your IT band kind of locked up a little bit a few times. You have different just little naggles and niggles and injuries and issues that came up but not a full-blown injury that would require surgery or anything like that. 
make sure you go through and address other issues. Do you need to change your form, better fit, change your run form, change your swim form, things to do, work on your techniques. Strength work, put, I put tons of that into my off-season programs for my athletes and anybody that's had the, uh, has bought my off-season workouts or programs. Don't skip the strength work. You're working the core, you're working to stabilize your muscles. That's going to do a lot to prevent injuries. That's kind of the cause is a weak core, and that just kind of trickles down to everything. If you don't have a weak core to have proper form, you're going to develop a lot of issues that could require surgery because it's just repetitive injuries. Change your gear if you need to. If you need different shoes, if you need a different bike, if you need a different setup, you're going to go from a road bike to a tri bike. Do it now. Figure it out. Get fit to it. So make sure that you're setting yourself up that when you're doing this off-season program, if you've got anything that comes up during these workouts because they're shorter, the intensity is up a little bit. But if it's showing up now, it's going to show up later when you're doing a six, seven-hour bike ride, you're doing an 18-mile run. It's really going to come up, and you're going to injure yourself in that workout, and then you're going to be set back, and that's not going to be fun. Now's the time to look also if you want to add recovery gear, you know, we see the Theragun at the Ironman Village, at the Expo Tents, uh, recovery boots. I've got Rapid Reboot personally. Uh, rollers, uh, do you need to get in with a massage therapist? Maybe you want to go see a chiropractor or something like that. So now is to get a routine for that preventative maintenance. Rollers, do you do them after every workout? Boots, do you do them every night, every other night? Again, I'm guilty as charged. You climb into bed, it's cold. You don't want to throw the boots on and freeze to death, you know, while you're waiting for them to go through the cycle. But now's the time to kind of get in that habit. It's a habit like getting up in the morning and doing a workout, climbing to bed, kind of chilling out a little bit with significant other, your spouse or whatever, or just hanging out in the living room, watching a movie with the kiddos, watching Christmas movies, Lampoon's Vacation, throwing the boots, you're just sitting there, passive recovery, getting a massage program. Off season, I do at least maybe once a month, really get used to the deep tissue massage. You don't want to do active release therapy, that kind of stuff. You don't want to do just the nice little, you know, oh, rub my shoulders, make me feel good. You want them digging on you, putting elbows into it. If you watch my Tulsa videos, you'll find out that I've, I've gone to my phys uh, massage therapist and man, she puts that elbow on there. She, oh, oh, it's painful, but hey, it works because Personally, I have not had any serious injuries to, issue, to, to worry about. A little bit of plantar fasciitis issue a long time ago that got taken care of. We addressed the cause with the right team, with the Fit Muscle Joint Clinic. They addressed the issue of, you know, just scar tissue built up in the calves over time and releasing that stuff and allowing that to flow down to plantar fasciitis and Achilles and all the other issues. So now's the time to get on a program. You know, it, do you want a program with your chiropractor? Do you want a program? Once a week, you or once a month, you meet with your sports physician, or you go to a sports clinic and you work with them on different techniques to address different issues. If you kind of if your hips are out of line, if one side's higher than the other, stuff like that. Now's the time to develop that schedule, to get that going forward. You know, maybe right now it's once a month for your preventative maintenance, going to massage, chiro, or something like that. Once you start getting to a little bit heavier load past the off season, maybe it's twice a month. When you're really into it, maybe it's every other week. You know, some months you're doing three times a month and two times a month. You're really getting into it because all this, doing all this will pay dividends and keeping the longevity of being able to do the sport for a long time. So maybe you're not going to be the fastest athlete out there. You know, you hit Ironman Florida, it's a fast course, you set PRs and everything. But maybe it's just not in the cards to be a Cone qualifier after that. But if you want to get your 12 for the Legacy program at this point, this point in time, you need longevity. You need to be able to do races, maybe multiple races over long periods of time. Or if you want to get to the ADH group, you need to make, make sure that you're doing all this active recovery. You know, I've got more mature athletes as well, and I keep preaching to them. If something hurts, go to a doctor. If something hurts, stop what you're doing. Find the cause. Find the reason. And the ones that listen to me, it's obvious because we take a little bit of time off. We address it. Get it fixed. We're back out there and we're doing more. So, and the ones that don't listen, it's just kind of a long, painful process until finally they're like, okay, I'll go, I'll go see my doctor. And then they get it fixed, they get it addressed, they find out what the problem is. It's relief after the main race, then they're going to address it and take care of it for the rest of the time. So, that's generally 
what I wanted to talk about for the off-season focus for injury prevention and recovery. And like I mentioned with you, Ironman Florida people out there, Ironman Chattanooga people out there, the, the late fall races, Wisconsin, uh, Louisville, any other races out there, you've got plenty of time to take care of the stuff now, especially if surgery's in the cards for you. It's not fun, but get it done now. That way you don't have to worry about it. You can hit your true off-season program, whenever it starts, really dig into it, mm-hmm. get into that, and have a successful long career don't just put stuff off don't linger it let it linger and do it season after season Uh, after next year i'll do it do it now take care of it that way you don't have to worry about it for years to come so hopefully this helps you out as always drop me a message send me an email if you have any questions thank you